Hello, so I'm gonna also I'll show you in the previous one I showed you how to wipe your Rust server. So in this one I'm gonna show you how to update your Rust server. Uh sometimes there is a mandatory update which you have to do otherwise your server doesn't actually run or show up, which is pretty shit, but you know, makes it fair. So to update your server, I'll show you how to do it if you have Oxide, which is just mods plugins, and I'll show you how to do it without. It's the same process, but you have to do something a little bit extra if you have mods on your server, otherwise you update and everything's back to vanilla, which is a very easy fix. So if your server's running, you want to close it, type restart, quit, or just close it down if you don't give a shit. So go, once your server's closed, go to wherever your server's located in like it's lit, more is literally just on my desktop. And you should have a folder called Steam CMD, or unless you've renamed it, and you know where this is. This is the file you need, steamcmd.exe, okay? Now, if you set up your server properly, neatly, and professionally, it should just be in your Steam CMD folder. So, don't worry about all this random shit. You just need this folder here, steamcmd.exe, okay? So, open this, and here it will say, Basically, you got to do three things. You got to log in. You got to tell it where you want the update, and then you got to start the update. So when it looks like this, all you need to do is you can log into Steam by putting your username, hit enter, put your password. But there's no benefit doing it like that. You can literally just type in login, login anonymous, anonymous. I don't know how to say it, but there you go. So just top that. There's no point in actually logging in. Doesn't change anything, it just takes longer. So just type login anonymous and hit enter. Now it will connect. Once it's done that, uh, okay, it's already saved to where I pull it. But if it doesn't, what you want to do is it doesn't usually come up with this. So once you've logged in and it says okay, it probably won't show you this, but it does for me, I don't know why. So what you want to type is force underscore install underscore dir. So this is basically saying force install the update in this directory, which the directory is your Steam's, uh, your Rust server. So go to wherever your actual Rust server is actually in. So mine's not in my Steam CMD folder, it's in literally in the folder that says Rust. So this is my actual folder. Once you're in here, click at the top here, copy and paste it. You can just close this down. So after you've put DIR and you've got it copied, put a space after DIR and paste in wherever your Rust server's located. Okay. Now literally just hit enter. Now and now we have logged in we have told it where we want to update now we've got to do the update so that's easy that's this is the easiest part yeah so what you need to do is you need to type app i think my vps is freezing <laughs> app underscore update space two five eight five five zero okay so this number here, 258450, that is just Rust ID sort of thing. It won't change if another update comes out. It won't have a 1 instead of a 0. That's just what it always is, okay? So once you've done that, hit enter and it will start updating. Um, now, mine's already up to date because I literally just updated mine. But if it isn't and it does... There is an update required. No, there is an update available. Sorry, it will say it will start off like downloading 1%, 2%, 5%, 10%, 20%. And when it's done, it will say finished updating and then OK. And then once it's done that, just type quit or exit off here. Now, if you have mods 
So let's not talk about mods. So first, if you just have a vanilla server, no oxide on it, no mods, no nothing. That's literally you can open your server that that, and your server will be good to go. Now, if you do have mods, what you want to do is you want to open Google. Although it does say oxide here, everything's vanilla because we've updated it. Okay, so open new mod I'll put a link to this so if you want to open new mod and locate to rust and the first one here this one was updated two days ago which is fine um, so you want to click the download button the latest update now if you got Windows it's the main button the very few people that have Linux it is right underneath here so make sure you get the right one so once that's open, just open that. You can close out Google. All right. Now in here is a folder called Rust Dedicated Data, and you may notice there's one in here. So you can either delete this one in your in your Rust server, or just drag the new one anywhere in here and replace it, which is what I usually do. Um. So replace 33 files with the same name. So replace and if you do not do that um, your server will be vanilla you none of your plugins will work nothing will work but now we fixed that put in the new rust dedicated data from umod in has fixed everything so all your plugins or workers do usually do it's literally as if you didn't update the server at all everything's how it was before which is perfect so now you can close this off and start your server which is brilliant it's that easy so hopefully that helped someone next I'll show you how to change the map which is brilliant uh, there's a cool website for that so if this did help someone like do whatever you gotta do if you want to see anything in particular just let me know down below and I'll probably end up doing it because I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> so, see you in the next one, people.